Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'll show you how to access the official Google Analytics demo account. Using the Google Analytics demo account is the perfect way to explore the reports, especially if you don't have access to your own account or if you want to show Google Analytics to someone else. For example, if you work in an agency and you need to explain the reports, you might not want to share your own reports or the reports from another one of your clients. Apart from showing you how to access the demo account, I'll also talk about some of the limitations you will encounter within the demo account. Okay, let's get started. To start using the official Google Analytics demo account, you'll need to create a Google account. Once you have logged in, you can head to the demo account page in the Google Analytics Help Center. You can find a link to this page in the description below the video. Then all you need to do is click Access Demo Account. This will open Google Analytics and you can start using the account. Now, there are some limitations when using the Google Analytics demo account. Before I run through the limitations, I want to highlight that there are still lots and lots of reports you can use and experiment with using the demo account. It really is a great way to learn more about Google Analytics and show other people how to use reports and other customization options. Okay, so in terms of limitations, first of all, there are some reports that are not available in the demo account. This includes the User Explorer report, which you would normally find under the Audience reports. The User Explorer report lets you drill down on individual users to see how they engage with your website. I've included details about this report in the description below the video. The cross-device reports are not available in the demo account. These reports make use of the Google Signals feature that automatically provides insights about people using multiple devices to access your website. If we head to Acquisition and look at the reports under Google Ads, you might also run into issues. I have found the Google Ads reports to be a bit hit and miss. Sometimes there are demo campaigns running and the data looks good, and other times it looks like things aren't configured correctly. So that's something to be aware of using the demo account. Let's change the date range for the available days in 2020. We can see things go up and down with these demo campaigns. If we head to Search Console, we can see that Google Search Console hasn't been linked to Google Analytics, so there isn't anything available in these reports. Apart from these reports, you'll probably also notice missing data or other issues with areas that require custom implementation or configuration. This includes the Social Plugins report, the Site Search reports, and the Events reports. There are also some things that I wouldn't typically recommend. For example, the demo account has a goal configured for an e-commerce checkout process. I would normally recommend using the funnels inside the e-commerce reports for this type of analysis and reporting. You will also find issues if you're trying to test out the Google Analytics reporting API using the demo account. This is because you can't use the demo account to play with the API. For example, if we head to the Google Analytics Demos and Tools site. We can't use the demo account when using the tools that rely on the API. This includes the Embed API examples and the Usage Trends tool. If we select the demo account and try to create a trend report, we'll see an error message. OK, that's enough of things that you can't do with the demo account. Let's head to Google Data Studio. I have found that you can use the demo account in Google Data Studio. This lets you connect it as a data source and then create your own reports and dashboards. There's also Google Analytics sample data you can use too. Now let's head back to Google Analytics. Finally, I want to show you how to remove the Google Analytics demo account from your list of accounts. All you need to do is navigate to Admin, then select Account User Management, and click Remove Myself. That's it. 
So that's how you can access the official Google Analytics demo account. Remember there are some limitations to the demo account, so I do recommend creating a testing account to experiment with some of the features and reports that are not supported. You can find a link to my video covering testing accounts in the description below this video. How are you going to use demo accounts? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.